the coding roles we need a coding editor. I will go for Visual Studio Code. But you can use whatever you want, like Dim for example. The installation is straightforward. You just need to go to the web and download the Linux version. To install Visual Studio Code after the download, open a new terminal, go to download folder, check if the dev file is in there. Then type sudo dpkgi and the name of the file. Wait until the installation is completed. We can see that we have the icon in the software center. Let's add the favorites so to have a quick access from the side left bar. And let's do the same for the terminal. Now we have everything ready for creating our first rose workspace. Let's create a folder in home and call it Katkin WS, a very common convention suggested by Rose. Create inside another folder and name it src. It is important that this source folder is named exactly src, otherwise you won't be able to build the workspace. Go inside the src folder and type catkin underscore init underscore workspace. You can type tab on your keyboard to allow the auto compilation. Then go to catkin workspace folder and type catkin underscore make. This command builds the environment and executes the rows packages. If everything went well in the Katkin workspace you will find these three folders, build, devel and src. 
A source folder is where we are going to put our packages that contain the features of our robot that we are going to create. The environment is created and we need to source the setup.bash file to our ROS workspace. To do that let's open the bashrc file with Visual Studio Code. Let's go to the end of this file. You can see this line of command that we have added before in this video. We did it via the terminal. Now we are adding the line manually so that the workspace we are operating is sourcing the setup bash file as well. By default, this bash file is placed in the VEL folder of our workspace. Save the file and exit. If we open a terminal, the raw score is running properly. Now we can improve our Visual Studio Code environment to make more user-friendly for coding. Go to the extension and install Python by Microsoft. When it is done, install C and C++ extension by Microsoft. And lastly, install CMake by TWXS. Useful for adding executable files for our building and compiling package tool. We are going to cover this topic when we are going to create Node from scratch in the upcoming video. Once it is done, close it. Now, on the terminal, change the directory to Catkin Workspace. and launch Visual Studio Code in this workspace. Now we can check if all the extensions are properly installed. As you can see, we have Python, ROS, C and C++ and CMake. Furthermore, we have other extensions that have been automatically installed. Congratulations! You have properly installed ROS Nautic on Ubuntu 20.04 on a virtual machine. You have created your ROS workspace and properly sourced your environment. 
Furthermore, you have set everything up on Visual Studio Code with useful extension that will help you a lot while you are playing with packages and create your own notes. Now we are ready to play with real robotic application and it is what we are going to do in the next video, where we are going to use and create nodes and topic. That's all for today. If you think you got value from this video, click the thumbs up and subscribe to the channel to not miss the next topic. If you have faced some issues in the process described in this video, don't hesitate to write in the comment down below and I will reach you out. Thank you for your attention and see you in the next video.